f of x is equal to 4 cos x plus e to the minus x. Part A showed that the equation f of x equals 0 has a root between 1.6 and 1.7. So we're going to substitute 1.6 into the function. So we'll get 4 cos 1.6 plus e to the minus 1.6, making sure your calculator is in radians here. Obviously this is in radians, not in degrees. And that gives me the answer 0 0.08, so a positive answer. Now doing 1.7. So 4 cos 1.7 plus e to the minus 1.7 gives minus 0 0.3. So we have a sign change and we can write our usual sentence. Sign change in the continuous function. So there must be a root in the interval between 1.6 and 1.7. Part B. Taking 1.6 as your first approximation to alpha, apply the Newton-Raphson procedure once to f of x to obtain a second approximation to alpha. Give your answer to three significant figures. The newton raphson procedure formula is given to you in the formula booklet. It is this, xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. So in order for me to use this formula, I need to work out f dash. I need to differentiate the function. So let me do that first. So let's take the f of x function and differentiate it. Cos differentiates to be minus sine, so we'll get minus 4 sine x. The exponential differentiates to be the exponential, but I need to multiply by the minus 1 because of the chain rule. So this is actually going to become a minus e to the minus x. Right, so let's now use the formula Oops. to get my second approximation. Oops. Um, so we're going to do x1 equals x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. Which is 1.6 minus f of 1.6 over f dash of 1.6. To work out f dash of 1.6, to work this out, I'm going to substitute 1.6 into my original function. And that gives me 0.6. Um, 0 0.085 and then to work out the f dash of 1.6 I'm going to substitute 1.6 into this function which gives me minus 4.2 and then we can type that into our calculator So just bear with me while I do that. which gives two, oh, okay, it's uh, one, three significant figures, which gives 1.62, two, three significant figures.